Gallery Star International Image and Style Coach. I look forward to working with you and educating you on the dynamics of becoming simply a fabulous image coach. This session is on shoes. Now we all know how much women love shoes. And I've been walking in high heels for 45 years now and it really has taken its toll, but I'm not prepared to give up those beautiful high heels. So when a woman is wearing shoes, there's different types of shoes based on the size and shape of her calf and also her height and where she carries her weight or her slenderness. So I've got quite a few different types of shoes to share with you today. Now there's some idea about women wearing high heels with a trouser outfit and I recommend that that is not the proper heel height. So a heel like this is definitely a dress shoe for a skirted outfit and this shoe is a perfect shoe for a trouser outfit. It has a stockier heel, it's not quite as tall and it actually works beautifully with trousers. The key is to get the trousers hemmed properly and going on the assumption that whatever it is you buy in the way of clothing it will need altered. So just plan on the extra 30 or 40 dollars to get something altered so it fits you perfectly. Now we have a lot of shoes and this was the first one I picked up. This is a great shoe, very inexpensive. It is a knockoff pretty much of a Stuart Weitzman. A Stuart Weitzman shoe is the only shoe brand that really fits me and they're around $350. So when I found this, I knew that with the long vamp and high arch, uh, that this shoe was going to fit and sure enough it did. When you find an affordable shoe like this that fits you, be sure to get several of them. So I might wear this for a week and decide, oh this is definitely a shoe for me and go back and get a second pair or get them in other colors as well. So this has been wonderful. It is a sexy shoe but still flattering. This part here of the shoe is called the cleavage. So the lower this vamp of the cleavage is, the, it's going to show perhaps a little bit of your toes, but that's called the cleavage of a shoe. So that's a dynamite shoe in my opinion. Now we have some very traditional shoes to all appearances until you look at the heel. And this makes for a very unique shoe as well. Not a low cleavage, but a nice cut and very timeless as well. This is a suede shoe, so of course it means you need to take care of it a little bit more than some of your leather shoes. The lowest maintenance in shoes is a shoe that's made of patent leather. And that usually is a typical black patent, although I have seen it in other colors. And I bought patent leather in red as well. I couldn't resist it. Now for evenings out, we have this lovely shoe. And of course, when you're wearing this type of shoe, it's very sexy. The heel is higher. It's got a little bit of shine to it, making it after five. And, and then when you have this piece that goes around the ankle, you need to realize that that becomes very sexy and it has to be fitting your foot even more so than many other shoes. So this would look lovely with a plain black outfit or a plain outfit in maybe perhaps this rust color. And I am an autumn, so this is a shoe that I would wear. I like this shoe so much that from the same store, I purchased knee-high leopard boots, and they are really something else. So it's a lot of fun to wear that. Now for us, more of a sporty outdoor look, and that would qualify as this shoe with the texture. Again, autumns wear a lot of texture, where in winter might wear more of the high shine or the glitzy sparkly things. A lower shoe, now this is still not a trouser shoe, although the heel would work for a trouser shoe, but because of the sling back, it becomes a skirted outfit or a dress outfit. But it's very sporty with the texture, and of course, going with my hair coloring, this is a great choice. Now from the same designer, Stuart Weitzman, this is a little dressier and it has some pattern to mix with the black. A brown-black combination is simply wonderful. A nice heel on it, again a sling back, so meaning it is only going to work for a dress or a suit. 
A nice weekend outfit or an after five, a small heel, still not a trouser shoe though because of the glitz and the open toe. When you wear an open toed sandal or shoe, you want to make sure if you're wearing nylon stockings that the toe is not um, the, the extra covering on it to keep it longer. So the reinforced toe on the stocking would not be the answer. You would actually have your toes uh, showing through this. You can wear this with bare feet, but that's a different kind of look altogether. And of course, when we think of bare feet and pretty, pretty shoes, we think of a pedicure. That's one of the things that is mandatory, is to have a beautiful manicure and a pedicure. One of my favorite pairs of shoes came from the designer district in uh, Los Angeles and many, many people have come up to me that I didn't even know and said, wow, I love that shoe. Ironically, of all the shoes on this table that cost up to $500, this was the least expensive shoe coming in at under $30. But again, it's back to that perfect style that cuts right for the shape and size of my foot as well as the high arch and the long last which is this portion of a shoe. So when you are coaching other people you will want to know these terms and you'll start to notice many women are not even beginning to wear a size that fits for them. I have what they call a quad A heel meaning triple quad four uh, narrow in the heel so I always know that I need to look for a very narrow portion here and many of the women are not choosing it properly and when they walk their heel comes out of the shoe so the heel width and size and height all play a role in getting the shoes that fit you. You can wear high heels all day if the shoe fits you properly and I love wearing high heels. So my last, oh, no, second last pair. I adore these shoes. These shoes are usually found in the Chinese district of, say, San Francisco. They'll have Chinatown, but of course in many other countries as well. And I am going to Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Korea later this year. So I adore this shoe. This can be a trouser shoe and it can also be a skirt shoe for the weekend. Very nice, very affordable, and very chic. A great story about this last pair of shoes. Isn't it just divine? I was getting on a flight last year and I had a cream-colored suit on and these lovely shoes. The male steward said, wow, great shoes. And I turned around and gave him the look and the shoe model, and I said, thank you. If anyone's going to get an upgrade here today, it's going to be me. And sure enough, as we were taxiing out, he said, Miss Starr, follow me. We do have room for you in first class. So get up, dress up, and show up, and get those shoes working in your favor. Now, when you're walking as a woman, I see many women walking with their legs and feet straight like this. That's actually how a man should walk. A woman, on the other hand, would want to walk similar to a model with her feet going like this. And you are always the message. Everything you say and do is going to be calculated by others and they will decide if they want to hire you as an image coach based on what they see, hear, and feel about you. 28 years in this exciting industry and I'm thrilled with my job. I truly hope you love the image business as much as I do. Gloria Starr, the global expert of choice.